Let's have a look at this, the centipede. There's an Australian centipede. How close can we get? I'm in front of the camera for a change. Isn't it big? Whoops. There's its body. Whoops, oh. Look, it's greenish on the tail. Isn't it beautiful, that shade of green? Isn't it lovely? I found it in the shed. I didn't upturn a brick, so I haven't destroyed its home. I'll take it straight back when I'm finished. Where are you? Oh, don't bite me. <laughs> Where are you? I can't, see, <laughs> I can't see you on screen. Where are you? Oops, here you are. Everything's back to front and upside down. I just want to get some good shots of you. Just hold still for a minute. Now, perhaps I should be behind the camera instead. Oh. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it lovely? How many legs has it got? A hundred? You count them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, about forty, I think. Let's have a look at its head and feelers and things. Where do they bite with? Their mouth or their tail? Oh! Isn't it beautiful in motion? Rest assured, I'm going to let it go in a minute. When I was a child and we up, I, know, I lifted, up, lifted up a brick and my mother was in the garden, she immediately got a mattock and she chopped it up into pieces. That was her response to a centipede, as if it was a dreadful wicked creature. Well, it's got bright red feelers. I've noticed that centipedes have their own little home under a rock or something and they sort of treat it like they treat it like a house basically. My knees are getting wet on the clay. How close can we get to that tail? I didn't have time to get a clear basin. This basin is all scratched from years of use in the oven. Look at that. A close-up. A lot of birds would find this a dainty morsel. I can't do two things at once. I can't film and hold this thing. I don't want to get bitten, do I? Looks like a scorpion.
Look at its eyes. It's got beady little eyes. Gorgeous green aquamarine legs, jade legs, the legs are made of jade. Show us your eyes again, come on. Show everyone on YouTube your beautiful eyes. Isn't he or she quite, hey, it's got the mouth of a snake, look. Is that its mouth? Looks like a snake's head. Isn't it wonderful? I won't start playing with the uh, focus now because I'll probably make it worse. What's today? It's late July, 27th of July, I think, or the 26th. So it's winter time. And this was found in our garage. A beautiful view of a beautiful centipede. So if you're into entomology, like say Florian Irwin is, you can uh, look at this and study this centipede up closely. I should have got a glass bowl with a transparent bottom. This one's all cloudy. I don't think it would appreciate me shaking it and turning it upside down, would it? It wouldn't. I've seen rock pools up in Queensland, up in Tin Can Bay, where there were creatures like this with hundreds of legs walking around on the base of rock pools. So they've obviously got, obviously got relatives that can live underwater with lots and lots of legs. Isn't it lovely? It's like a piece of bamboo, polished bamboo. All those sections. I think I'd better let it go, hadn't I? So it won't be miserable. I'd better let it go. I'll go and let it go back in the shed where it was. See you everybody on YouTube. Isn't it lovely? Look how many legs it's got. So many. It's got a hundred. Even if I only counted 40, it's still got a hundred legs. Just a quick view from underneath. Where are you? Beautiful coordination. Better let you go.